In this video, I'm going to go over some basic limit laws that everyone should know right off the bat. So for instance, the four limit laws that I'm going to go over real quickly are constant limits, linear limits, power limits, and root limits. So for instance, the constant limit is when I'm trying to take the limit as x approaches something of a constant. So again, it's a constant value. Now let me give you a very brief example. So if I am trying to find the limit as x approaches 0 of 4, now that means my function's value is always 4. No matter what, you could plug in any number and you would always get the exact same answer out and it's always 4. Well, guess what happens as you take the limit? It's just going to be whatever that number is. So for instance, if I'm taking the limit as x approaches 0 of 4, it's just 4. That's the answer. There's nothing to it. So again, if I'm trying to find the limit as x approaches n of some constant, it's just going to be whatever that constant is. Now, I'm going to try another one. So let's look at a linear one. So for instance, if I'm trying to find the limit as x approaches some number of just an x, well, think about it. That is literally just a straight line. It is a slope of 1, a y-intercept of 0. It's literally just it. That's all you have to do. So it's whatever you plug in n for. Okay. So let me get just a very brief example. If I try to take the limit as x approaches 2 of just x, well, all I'm going to get is 2. All I have to do is plug 2 in. That's it. I get the answer out. Now, let me try another one. This time, I'm going to do a power. So, for instance, I'm going to have the limit as x approaches n of something to a power, like uh, x to the third, or x to the fourth, or maybe just x squared. It's x to some power. I don't know what the power is. I'm just going to pick a power. It doesn't matter what it is. Well, in this case, it's just going to be that number to that power. So let's look at a good example. So if I have the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared, well, all I'm going to have to do is plug it in, essentially. 3 squared is 9. So like I said, very straightforward. If it's going to any power, it doesn't matter what the power is. All you really have to do is plug it in and do the exponent. So one last one is I'm doing a root. So that's a square root, a cube root, any of those uh, radicals that we would do. Um, we have to be very, very careful when we talk about this one. So if I'm approaching some number n of a root of x, I'm going to, again, basically do the same thing. It's just going to be that root of whatever number I'm looking for. Now, there is one caveat. There is one problem. If this, and the word is index, if the index is an even number, like, for instance, 2, okay? If it's 2, n cannot be negative, okay? Because remember, think about it. You cannot take the square root of a negative number. So again, let me repeat. If a is even, then n has to be bigger than 0. Actually, I'm even just going to say it has to be greater than 0 because uh, think about it again. Um, the limit as x approaches 0 of a square root doesn't exist either because it's undefined for those negative numbers. So make sure, again, it has to be bigger than 0. Um, I'm going to do a real quick example of that. Again, kind of same idea. The limit as x approaches 4 of the square root of x, well, all I'm going to do is plug in the 4, and I get 2. So those are some of your basic limit laws. Again, constant numbers, uh, just plain x values, exponents, and roots. Those are very helpful. I'm going to come back and do some more advanced ones in just a minute, so stick with me.